What's up guys? So the topic of today's video is um, trying to build a uh, analysis kidney pad out of spare parts and bits and pieces. Um, now I don't even know where I got this foam pad probably in the mail with some kind of item or other and I don't recall slicing this in half so it might have been like that but um, the the length of, um, of this foam pad is uh, almost the entire length of a standard Alice kidney pad and I have these um, spare UCP pieces of, uh, of the Molly 2 pack system. These were off the um, MBC carriers. Uh, and uh, I realized these could come in really handy to, um, to basically wrap around, you know, the, um, the foam pad. And it would have just enough material for it to, be, to then be sewn you know, on uh, on both sides and just sewn together. Right now I have three of these because two weren't enough, so I had to put three. And then, um, yeah, this would create the foam pad, basically, that uh, obviously rests on your hips. Now, unfortunately, this uh, the pad has, has been sliced, so... The only real, um, let's put it this way, the only thing that I can do now is uh, super glue it and then tape it all with duct tape uh, really well. Just, you know, just for good measure. And um, right, then we have some Alice bits and bobs out of a, a Y harness. And let me put this back around like so, just to kind of give you an idea of what this should look like. So, um, I would probably have this kind of webbing sewn here. And then, where is it now? There we go. The D ring. So I'd have that sewn onto the fabric here, and then the D-ring sewn here, so it can slip through the um, Alice frame. Then probably I would have, again this is from an Alice Y harness, the webbing, probably have this sewn to this strip of webbing here and then I should have enough uh, for the strap for the actual strap you know to secure the kidney belt with unfortunately I mean this was one long uh, strip of webbing which I cut in half and um, initially I was going to make Alice handles Alice pack uh, handles, you know, um, but then I thought about it and I realized, first of all, I have other strips of webbing, again, from the Molly 2 MBC carriers, so I can make handles out of that. Instead, I would need slightly longer um, uh, strip of webbing to to make this belt system work is because it's just slightly too short. Um, so I ordered another Y harness. I found a really good deal actually. It was under 10 euros shipped. Uh, it was like five euros for the for the Y harness plus another four or something, four odd euros for shipping. So a really good value. And I'm gonna recycle the other D ring that I need in order to um, to, 
potentially make this uh, kidney pad and obviously I'm gonna get another strip of webbing like so I like this one and I have the same thing replicated on this side um, so yeah I guess that's the plan so I kind of wanted to share with you what the plan is now if I go to the tailors I don't know how much this is gonna cost me because there's quite a few little jobs involved so again is it going to be cost effective probably not but uh, I almost want to go through with it anyway just because I have all these components and uh, I wanted to make use of them you know I really wanted to make use of them and uh, it would be kind of cool just you know design your own kidney uh, pad and um, it would be in the standard UCP color just because I tried dyeing these with apple green and for whatever reason they turned yellow on the inside and didn't take any dye on the outside whatsoever so um, yeah it would still still be you know pretty funky to have a different camo pattern uh, for the kidney, uh, kidney pad and um, yeah I guess I'm trying to think if I missed anything out um, no, I think that's all of it. Maybe what I might do is use the strip of webbing from another Y harness. And uh, I don't know if to sew it, to have it sewn um, at the back here, just like a standard Alice kidney pad would. I might do it. I might end up doing that. And then have this strip of webbing sewn onto here. With the D ring, you know, on the other end, and then continue this webbing with the other half right here. And obviously, this one would be considerably longer, so it would have uh, quite a quite a bit of slack uh, to work with, you know, with the buckle. So I might end up doing that, uh, but again, I'm gonna have to see how much all of this is going to cost me so um, you know I'll see um, I'll see about that and uh, hopefully it's not going to be too expensive and um, I'll let you guys know whether or not um, whether or not this uh, project will actually materialize so for now all I can say as usual is uh, thanks for watching hope you found it interesting and uh, I will see you on the next one